Check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We just got into Dali, Yunnan, South China, and I'm so pumped, because today we are going for a full-on Yunnanese street food tour. Let's go check it out. This is Dali, Yunnan, one of the most beautiful places in all of China. You can come here for the beautiful scenery, the relaxed pace of life, or the food. And here, your options are endless. And in one day, you can taste a ton of unique Yunnanese street food delicacies from the Bai ethnicity in southern China. If you love street food and delicious cuisine when you travel, you found the right video. Because in one day, we found eight amazing street foods you're gonna love. So make sure to watch until the end to experience it all with us, including a mind-blowing Bai-style street food feast and an incredible dinner including raw pork and one of the most flavorful chicken dishes you can find. Let's eat. We're in Dali and we're gonna get a ton of street food and delicious specialties today. Starting out right here, look at this. There's a little, there's a little Muslim Yunnanese breakfast joint. Look at this. See how? Wow. Oh, 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 uh, this is new tofu. New Oh, new tofu. New tofu. New tofu. Wow, that's got cow head and cow feet meat. Wow. Look at that. Oh, this is. Oh, this is his head. That's the tripe, the stomach, and all the organs. We're getting arse, which is oh, thank you. Wow, these are sticky rice noodles covered in a mixed spicy ground beef sauce. We're just gonna add a little hua jiao yo, Sichuan peppercorn oil. Oh, this is incredibly fresh. Oh, hi yo swan. Oh, Thai bang la. This is pao thai pickled cabbage. Oh yeah, just top it off. We're gonna go try it out. We're gonna add a nice big huge spoon of dried chilies on top of these sticky rice noodles. A Yunnanese unique specialty. And oh, wow. Oh yeah, that just looks to die for. Oh wow. The sticky rice. Those noodles are so chewy. I don't think I've ever had a more chewy noodle. That is just so mildly spicy. It's so aromatic. And the cilantro and green onion, the sesame, wow. After those delicious Yunnanese Muslim breakfast sticky rice noodles, we made our way into the old town of Dali to rent a styling e-bike to get around in for the day and made our way food ranging for more street food. This is one of the most tourist places in all of China, but it also has some of the best food in Yunnan. So we're gonna rent an e-bike, we're gonna head into the new town, outside of the old town here, and then we're gonna go get some delicious local street food. Let's check it out. All right guys, we have an e-bike today, and we're gonna go for a full-on street food adventure. Check it out. All right, so we just parked, and we just randomly spotted a huge, busy morning market. We're gonna check that out, and then make our way to an old street and get some more delicious street food. Let's check it out. Crazy busy. Wow, what's this? This is what? This is a fan. A fan. It's good. So she said this is one dofen, which is soybean flour, soybean starch, I believe. And it's like it looks like there's little layers like a pancake. And she said you eat it liang ban. She's just cutting off. This is one dofen. Hi, Yoshan. This is a mian fan. No mian fan. This is one dofen. It's like there's a bing. This is Oh, looks like some vinegar and chili, green onion. 
Cilantro. Oh, Thai bang la. Lo chen yo bo. Kai. Oh, yeah. Xie xie ni. Bu yong xie le. That is. This is. Hua jiao you. Hua jiao you. Hua jiao you. Awesome. We got the Wando Fen here, guys. This is a soybean starch jelly covered in chili, covered in sesame, cilantro, green onions. She put vinegar. She put, I think she put a little bit of chili oil in there. Mmm. The jelly totally melts in your mouth. It's very nutty from the sesame, quite spicy. But that jelly almost has just a slight earthy flavor. That sourness, that spiciness, that sesame cilantro kick. Oh, that'll bring you to life. Next up, after walking a little more through the market, we made our way further into town to a famous street on the T-Horse Road to try out a couple more unique specialties before our huge buy-style lunch feast. Hello. Hello. This is dami fan, right? Dami, dami. Oh, it's like a fried rice flour pancake. Oh. Do yao. Look at that. Oh, fang yao tiao ma. How? Okay, so she's gonna put in a a fried batter cake, kind of like a cruller. Oh, Thai bang la. Rahonifang some potato slices. Oh, and some swan thai, ma. pickled veg, pickled cabbage. Oh, and then the peanuts. Wow, it's like, it looks like a pizza almost. And then the yo tiao. All wrapped up. Thai hao la xie It's all in there. Look at this. Fried crawler, there's potato slices, there is tian mian jiang, which is like a sweet bean chili sauce. There is la jiao jiang chili sauce. There's fried, there is potato slices in there and peanuts. That looks amazing. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. It has that crispy crawler and there is some sort of fermented bean flavor in there almost. It almost tastes a little, it's actually quite sour and spicy, but with a with a fermented odor to it. Shishini, uh, over here he's making some. Wow, look at that fatty pork. Hi, <laughs> That's amazing. Cow roma, cow juroma. This is his roots. Wuharo. Oh, streaky pork. <laughs> Fried in this big oven. Roast. Mmm. Wow. Oh. You can say it like this. Wow. That is. Wow. That is. Wow. That is. Wow. That is amazing. It tastes like a. It's so. It's so sweet from honey. And fatty. Mm. The street is really beautiful and I just heard that this is actually the oldest street from the Chama Gudao, the Tea Horse Road times. This road went all the way in to downtown Dali and this was a hub of trade on the Tea Horse Road where people would bring goods from Myanmar all the way up to Tibet and both sides could trade. Before our big lunch feast, we went to have a famous rice noodle dish in Dali. Famous for its unique flavor with peanut butter, chilies, and a sweet vinegar that will blow you away. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Hi, Hua Sheng Jiang Ma. Look at that. Ni men de te se. 
See, I shouldn't even. They just loaded it up, but we're gonna, we're gonna just put a little more touch of that peanut butter, chunky peanut butter on there. Wow. Look at that, chicken slices, bean sprouts, greens, garlic. It is incredible. We're gonna go try it out. We just got the Liangji Mishian. Look at these beautiful, cold, thick, fat rice noodles covered in a creamy, nutty peanut butter. Lots of chili, lots of chili paste on there. There is bean sprouts, there is greens. And she put, oh, on the bottom, it's like a, it's like a vinegar. And she put some peppercorn oil in there and also some taogo oil, which is like a Yunnanese ginger. Oh, and you mix that up. Oh, with the chicken slices, the bean sprouts. That looks amazing. That looks so beautiful. Mix it up, you're gonna get that peanut flavor, that bean sprout flavor. Chicken slices, cold chicken slices. Oh yeah, let's try that out. Mm. Oh wow, that is absolutely incredible. That is the perfect balance of so many flavors. Slightly sour, slightly sweet, slightly nutty, slightly fresh from the bean sprouts. Cold, refreshing, full of protein from the sliced chicken. Mmm, fragrant from the chili. That is a, that is one of the best bowls of rice noodles I've ever had. Actually, that is, that is the best right there. After those beautiful rice noodles, we made our way to find a truly beautiful Thai style lunch feast, featuring some incredibly unique specialties you're gonna love on your first bite. We found it, the Bai Feast. Awesome. Whoa! And order. Wow! Look at this feast! To do it. Oh! So much food. Chicken shir. Cow roe. Roast. Cow wuha roe. Fried streaky pork. This is Nimeng Su Shiji. Nimeng Su Oh, lemon chicken. Lemon grass chicken. Bai Dai Zhu de Ma. Oh. Liang Ban Ching Tai. Cold. Cold celery. Oh. This is Tudo Chou. Tudo Chou. This is Yu Fen. Yu Fen. Oh, like some fried. Crisps. Oh, this is what? This is Oh. 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 This is what? Oh, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. Wow. Some crisps. Beautiful. So this is Shoujua Fan. He's just putting down on there, which is filled with fennel greens, carrots, and corn. Oh. And the. This is a feast of a lifetime. This is a feast of a a floral sticky rice. And this here? This is a This is a This is a this is This is incredible. This is This is This is This is This is This is And look at the pineapple rice they just put down. Oh, that's a fan. Pineapple sticky rice. Just look at this. This is... I am blown away with the selection we are getting at this Thai specialty feast here. They've, we've got it all here. We've got worms. Oh, oh, worms that live inside the bamboo. Wow. Lots of rice. Oh. <laughs> this is the most beautiful meal. This is just breathtaking. Wow. This is the feast 
多打点，多打点给他劈满。哦哇！这个大理洱海里面那种小鱼。大理洱海的有。哦，小鱼。哇！这个是什么？这个是鱼鳞猪皮。哦，猪皮。Fried pig skin。大猪的特色。嗯，对。Lemon grass spare ribs。这个是你们的酱。哎，对对对，我们的酱。这个是什么酱？这个是腌菜膏。就二根嘛。这个。哦。It's got Sichuan fish root. Just 二根。It's got lemon grass. They bring in so much food. This is unbelievably breathtaking Thai specialty we've just received. I don't know where to start. This is this is mind blowing. The selection we've got here. <laughs> There's so much food. Hendoa, hendoa, how true that? Wow. And we're hanging out with Wu Yao Xiao, the Lao Ban here. He has brought us a, an extremely generous feast today. Okay, so we're learning how to eat this here. Take the lettuce. Oh. Put the rice in. Oh, I understand. Wow. Oh, put the bamboo worms in. Oh, that looks like a powerful rice. That looks like a powerful lettuce wrap. Okay. I'm going to take some of this fried rice with fennel greens, some of this floral sticky rice. Wow, there's so much. Some of this lemongrass, cilantro, chicken. How true, ma? Some of this beautiful, oh yeah, look at that. Bamboo worms. And then a cricket, a couple of crickets. This is the feast of a lifetime. And wrap it up and then dip it. This is amazing. Dip it into that. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, very good. Mmm. How to the ham? Mm. Oh wow. Very good. Very good. Wow. There's so many. There's so many flavors in there. Oh, the sauce is extremely spicy. That is an instant burn. Wow, there's lemongrass in there, cilantro, burning chili, freshness from that lettuce. Mm. This is awesome. You can just you can just do that with your hand. Oh yeah. You can just squeeze it. Mmm, Oh, wow. This is what dreams are made of here, guys. Wow, we've got these bamboo worms. Thai haola. Mmm. Oh! Those bamboo worms taste like popcorn. Exactly like salty popcorn. Mmm. Okay, so we've got some cabbage. I think that's liver. Oh, and then the rice rice noodles. Oh, uh, mee fen. Oh, that's it. Oh, that looks amazing. That looks amazing. Wow, what the eye. Oh, that looks amazing. Swan yo la. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. This one. Wow, that looks amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Thai hao chi la. Yo swan yo la. Yo swan yo la. Yo swan yo la. Wow, that is really, that is amazingly sour and fresh from cilantro. Oh, and spicy. Oh, and refreshing. Cold and refreshing. Sesame, spicy. Oh, and yeah, you can take that liver. That has got to be liver. Oh, wow. 
What a mangxiang. <laughs> this is just the most amazing dai to feast we are enjoying. It's way too much food. I think the staff are going to have to help afterwards, but this is a life changing, mind blowing experience. After that life changing feast, we made our way to the countryside on our little e bike in search of a specialty stuffed flatbread famous in Shizhou, the Shizhou Baba and found some beautiful villages and scenery along the way. We are on our way to Shizhou and we are exploring these old ancient Bai neighborhoods. It's absolutely beautiful. The architecture here is stunning. We're almost there and then we're gonna get a specialty snack. Let's check it out. All right, we just got into Shizhou and there I see what we want is right here. Ni hao. Oh,可以吃甜的吗？可以。甜的是什么味道？红糖玫瑰。红糖玫瑰，哇， oh, oh, look at this. So we're getting a Shijo Baba, which is like a specialty Bing pastry. Oh, and she's just putting in that Meigui Tang, that rose jam. And then hua sheng, hai yo hua sheng, hong tang. Oh, yeah, yeah, hong tang. Wow, that, that looks plump. It looks so plump. Tai bang la. Ai, we are in the kitchen. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at those plump, plump beauties. Oh. So it's like a fried bing. Wow. Wow. Nice and crispy. They're like they're like cakes. Wow. Crispy. Oh, you can smell that that wheat batter is just so aromatic. Full of rose jam and brown sugar. That is absolutely beautiful. So they actually have a couple flavors. We just got the rose jam version. They also have green onion, savory, but this is the sweet, deadly, oily, crispy, juicy, fatty rose jam version. Oh, look at that. You can tell the oil just slightly saturates in there. It's quite plump. Oh, and look at all that brown sugar. Look at that brown rose jam. Oh, wow, that looks to die for. Oh, it's hot. Mmm, how's it? How's it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That is next level sweet. Oh, it's like a. Wow, that. It tastes like you're eating a crispy, fluffy rose petal. It really has a rose petal fragrance. Mm. After that amazing Shijo Baba, we went back into town and back through all the amazing Bai villages to go for a classic Bai feast for early dinner and had some extremely delicious and unique food, including raw pork. This pork lung and heart soup with chili. Thai tang. Oh, red braised beef. So they've got red braised beef and pork. Wow. Can you like Thai? How chur la? Ran ho jigana? This is mala fei chang. Oh, mala fei chang. Mouth numbing pig intestines with fresh chilies. Oh, and you can see the Sichuan peppercorns in there. So look at this, guys. There is barbecue pig skin, which he is just chopping up here. And then also, this is the finished product that you get. There is raw pork meat. Wow. There is barbecue pork skin, and then there's sliced fatty pork bits. Can you like it? 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 Can you like
This is an insane Bai style feast we just got here, guys. This is Swan La Yu. It's made with GU, which is carp. It's full of papaya and potato. So that is a sour, spicy carp full of papaya and potato. You can just see, wow, look at that. Look at all the, oh, look how rich and spicy that broth looks. That is incredible. And then the real specialty over here, which is what everyone that comes to Yunnan to try the Bai food orders. This is called Sheng Pi. So we have barbecued pig skin, wow, f fatty pork bits. And then over here, look at that. That is raw pork, beautiful. And then over here we have, this looks like a pork tirin or pate. I think this is fatty pork, might be pork head bits, all in a gelatin-like pate. And then they give you two different dips. This dip is for, oh wow, that looks like it's full of sesame and chili. Oh wow, this one is for this raw pork. And this one, which is more oily, is for the tirin, the pate. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that swan layu, spicy papaya potato, giyu carp. Oh, I'm just gonna put some of that broth right in there. Beautiful. Get some papaya. And then take a little bit of that fish. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a fruity sourness. You can definitely taste that beautiful, oh, that sour papaya flavor is just infused into that broth. It actually tastes like a pickled papaya. Incredible. Oh, Huang Menji. And the last dish, Tai Hao Le. And the Huang Menji just arrived. You can really smell the cinnamon in there, the cinnamon and the chili. It almost smells like a Da Panji from Xinjiang. The cinnamon, there might be some star anise in there. It's full of sticky rice cubes. Those are gonna be chewy and sticky. And nice, oh yeah, nice chunks of chicken. We're gonna try some of that raw pork. Oh, look at that raw pork with cilantro. Just gonna dip it in. I believe this is like a salty, sesame, slightly spicy dip. Oh yeah, full of sesame. Beautiful. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh, it's like pork sashimi almost. It's so fresh. That is so smooth. And that dip, it really is about that dip. It's like a slightly salty, slightly spicy sesame dip. This is the last meal we had before making our way to the airport to go to India on our next food journey. If you love these street food videos, please let us know in the comments below. And you can help support our channel by purchasing a Thai Haula t-shirt with the link in the comment and description below. Thanks so much for watching.